Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, let's make sure that this is gonna run. Oh, no, hold on. One moment, one moment. Here, let me... Let me uh, get something set up real quick. I forgot to... Turn something on. The counter. Not that it's been used all that much. But... We need it. We need it. There we go. All right, now we can go ahead and get back to the gameplay. Oh, 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 oh. Thankfully, there's no critical pathways there. All right, at least as far as I know. All right, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's turn the audio up. Oh, you idiot! Hold on one second. One second. One second. Being done today. It's a Sunday. Just a lazy Sunday. For uh before I get busy and start getting uh, everything together for recording the episode for the podcast. There we go. Alright. You guys should see everything, hear everything. Well, at least as much as you need to. Oh shoot, is this the right one? Did I load the wrong save? Yeah, I load the wrong save file. Okay, hold on one second. Ugh. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> Right, there we go. Now we're at the right save though. Alright. So these will be my four main armies. I'll probably make another couple to boost everything up. And, like go through and start taking guys out. But let's see. Salsa's there. Guogio. All right, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Just in case, we'll form one more army. Go ahead and end the turn. Genie has fallen.
<clears throat> it is annoying that they start you all that way back just so you don't have like enough movement and they get to advance two turns. Like it's already gonna take a while to beat these guys, but they're like, no, you can you can deal with it. Do one more. Okay, okay. Yo, what's up, Nafe? Welcome back in. Welcome back in. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back. in time to see uh, another episode here. Okay. Yeah, I think this will do. We'll take Chang on and then we'll start fighting our way East should be a fairly straightforward campaign. We'll probably have to fight another couple of battles just to make sure that they don't like keep progressing here. I might be able to like pinch them from the sides, but we'll see. That sucks. Chingui was a very good spy to have. Versus Zhao Yuan and Sima Yi. Uh, we'll do. Uh, Ram, I think, is probably the way to go. Of course, the towers, the towers. Oh, these maps suck so much. I forgot that they're all... I always forget that they're all castles. Super annoying. Most cursed thing I've ever seen. That's an interesting one. If uh, you're referring to like cursed and just front of like in terms of like 
oh wow, this is really cringe or like, you know, just like weird looking. Or do you mean in terms of like, this is just terrible, like it really makes you feel uncomfortable to look at it? Because if you mean terms of cringe or just like, oh, wow, who did that? Like, why did they do that? Uh, the answer is probably some random Sonic fan art I've seen. Uh, if you mean in terms of disturbing, um, I'd have to think about that one. Do you have an answer? Do you know what the worst or the most cursed thing you've seen is, Naif? Because I, I tell you, I, I have a hard time thinking of one. <laughs> Just any one thing, I should say. Yo, what's up? Twelve bit. Yeah, that's another good. Ah, ah, that hurts me just thinking about it. Oof. Yeah, that would definitely be pretty bad. And yeah, uh, Twelve did uh, welcome in. Thank you for coming back. Yeah, I think Twelve has a good point if his IRL are online. <laughs> Indeed, very much rodent behavior. Yeah, that's a uh, that's pretty brutal. I never got a firm like disturbing thing I've seen like like if it's like yeah I never got a firm as like if it was just cringe or just disgusting or just freaked you out anything okay then yeah looks like a road accident's uh
do count if you're uh, looking to share. Oof. Yeah, that's brutal. Mm. Yeah, I bet that, and like, obviously this is not, you know, whatever, like this isn't like any kind of, like, the main thing to take away from it, but that's something that you would not want to, uh, like, I can imagine that just causing huge delays on the road because people are just morbidly curious. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh yeah, the the links. <laughs> yeah. They do kind of look like basketball nets without Yeah, no, you're right. I never even made that connection. That's a good point. Oh no, you got me. I'm so exposed. Most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Let he who desires death face me. You know, I I don't know if I want to share that one, honestly. I think that one's a little personal. <laughs>
Hell yeah. That's a good one. That's a great one. trying to think there's definitely been some good stuff i was uh this is a recent one flamingo yeah you're right flamingo uh the most beautiful thing i saw is um i left i had a flight from la home uh, but it got canceled because a hurricane was coming and it was going to hit where we were so we had to stay the night in la uh, so we had to get up stupid early, like 3.30 or 4, to get ready for our flight that left, like, at 5 or something. It was, it was really bad. So as we're flying back across from the west coast to the east coast, I had this tremendous view of the sun just starting to peek over. Uh, I think we were, I forget where we were exactly. It was somewhere, I think, over New Mexico. And it was just great. It was really breathtaking. Those cats, I think, can get, be very sweet. Um, to at least, like, their primary owner. They'll basically, like, adopt a single person to be their favorite.
Hmm. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I like, um, I like cats, too. Cats are cool. Uh, hope you, uh, hope you get a good one. I'm not as familiar with the breeds for cats. Um, there aren't too many people that have, like, specialized breeds around me. They're mostly, you know, just... Uh, your random, like, tabbies and stuff. My brother's a big fan of cats, too. Yen gang, yen gang. That's fair. That's fair. I swear, this level's just been... It's not been hard at all, it's just been annoying and, and, and like a grind. Okay. 
decoy, he'll raid. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Should be a good... That was a whooping. Holy shit, dude. That was a big one. That was a big one. Heard a song of Asian parents made a rep. I haven't heard that. What what's it called? <laughs> it sounds interesting. <laughs> The game is epic. <laughs> well, I think you want to become a Chinese officer. I don't think you want to be one of the soldiers. <laughs> But yes, I have wanted to wield a spear shaped like a dragon and hit dudes and say roar, blue dragon. Who has it? Mmm. <laughs> 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 
Okay, If Asian Parents Made a Rap Song. Okay. I haven't heard of it. I'll have to I'll have to check that out. I'll take your recommendation. All right. This should do enough, I think, to get them destroyed, essentially. Oh, nice. I watched this channel on YouTube. It's called RVA Katana. They have some really cool stuff and, like, information and history about like katana production the different styles when they evolved all that kind of stuff it's a really good channel it does make me wish i owned a katana stand and katana's for the stand <laughs> That's a total army wipe there. We defeated everyone. Captured a bunch of them. I think we captured everyone who could be captured. Oh yeah, we are going to crush these holes here. I got the guy's channel. Um, yeah, the um, yeah, I watched um, I watched the one. I'm trying to remember which one it was. It wasn't the stop motion one. It it was um. It was the one he did, uh, I'll look it up, I'll show you, what, I'll tell you which one it was. It was the Salamanders versus Orcs, uh, the short one, I also watched the one he did, it was, um, it was the Fantasy Warhammer one, I think, the, uh, well no, it was a Fantasy one. It, no, it was the Ultramar campaign. I watched a couple of those last night before I went to bed. Captain Pioneer. Yeah, subscribe to his channel. I, uh, I'll probably watch some more tonight.
Salamander is one of my favorite factions, so I stopped to watch that one. <laughs> Yeah, I really like his style. Like his editing is so good with the with what he's doing. <laughs> the golden banana boys. I didn't see that one. I'll have to look I'll have to look for that one specifically. I just looked like through like his top recommended. Whoa, the game just like stuttered really bad there. I don't know if you guys will see it on the recording. <laughs> it's like an audio bug or something. seen it you seen it All right. well this one might not kill him but it'll hurt him a little bit more It did kill him. Awesome. Jaju. Alright. Well, we defeated two of those guys. I think the only person in this army who could lead is Sal Pet. But I don't know that he'll be able to... Reinforce it properly. We'll see. But we're going to make our push from the south and from the north.
Also, I need to double check my troop types for a couple of these dudes. They've they've got Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was... Okay, uh, let's see. Pro tip for anyone who wants to play this. If you get an item that gives you experience with a specific type of unit, you can equip it. Get the upgrades that you want. Then you can de-equip it. And they will not revoke uh, the troop type that you used. Uh, honestly, though, I think builders are better than heavy arms. Heavy arms make some decent enough... Um, like, unit... Like, arbalists and catapults. Those are fine, but, like... Um, I prefer the, the depots and towers, personally. Let's go ahead and give him the harness. Oh yeah, I like both of his stuff. Like, the, th the two videos I watched, yeah, no, they were great. Like I said, the dude's got a great style and, like, his subtlety and, like, what he's referencing and some of the, um, some of the stuff is just really good. It was a good recommendation, Nafe. Absolutely. I, I will recommend it to people who ask me for Warhammer stuff to watch. Yeah, I like to Thingam Bob. Also, welcome in Thingam Bob. Yeah, no, I like to um, I like to get an early start on the weekends when I'm when I'm here when I'm streaming. Um, I would prefer to stream earlier, but with work and stuff, you know, it's not possible for me. Uh, we're we're on that scenario where we ended off yesterday. Um, the final shoe and Wu team up. Lion's Return is on that list. You, uh, I, I will, I will get to those. I promise. Um, we're doing the thing where you have to take Cow Cow's three main cities. Um, thing I'm about. I've got the first one, and I'm working my way towards the other two. Um, but I haven't been streaming too long. Only about well, only around an hour. But there was a lot of stuff I was doing that was just small. Mm -mm. Not yet. We're getting close, though. We are getting close. Also, why are you an archer? Why aren't you a builder? Uh, this is the final campaign. 
I believe. Uh, for sh I, I'm pretty sure this is Shu's last scenario for this one. I am staying hydrated, yes. <clears throat> the pollen where I live is really bad right now, so I've been having to drink a ton of water to stay, like, <laughs> to prevent myself from, like, just sneezing everything out. It's been brutal. Oh yeah, Nath. Um, I will probably not be streaming that long today. Um, I, after I finish this, I'm going to see how what time it is. And I may start another Liu Bay campaign. Um, but after that, I'm going to... Um, I need to probably stop around 5 or 6 at the absolute latest. Um, I, uh, I've got to record my podcast, my weekly podcast tonight, so... We'll be doing that. Oh, Mega Team Up. Yeah, no, I'm glad you enjoyed. I was I was in the YouTube chat and in the Twitch chat. Um, I figured you would like it because he's doing this Crusader King stuff right now. Uh, usually on Thursday night, uh, Mega Team Up, Naif. Um, they're they're some IRL friends of mine, um, and they stream on Twitch, YouTube too. But their main viewership's on Twitch. They're actually they actually get um, I forget what the term. I think they're affiliates. I think is what it is. Like, they get, like, subs and notification, like, bits and stuff. Like, they, they're they're monetized on Twitch. And, um, they do, um, on Thursday nights, they usually do random, like, trash games. Like, really, like, either really cheap or really bad games from itch.io or Steam. Um, and then you, usually on Saturdays, they do more serious games. Kyle's got, like, a really long playthrough for um uh long war xcom long war mod that he's been working on for years <laughs> and um you're good a thing about bob and um also uh he's right now he's doing a crusader kings 3 playthrough uh normally he has a co-host uh streamer x is what we call him uh he's a really he's also an irl friend but he's uh he's off for a couple of weeks he's doing some uh, stuff irl uh, trying to get his uh, some stuff uh, taken care of, uh, but hopefully he'll be back uh, within the next week or two. They also make edited YouTube videos, or at least they they occasionally do. They haven't made one in a while, but. They do better to me on that front because I do not edit anything. I need to. I want to get better about doing that. Also, I don't know, uh, Nate. I'm assuming you were one of them, but uh, we got a couple of new subscribers yesterday. Thanks everyone who did that. I appreciate it. Oh hell yeah! And I hope you enjoy whatever you play. Are you still working on your Slav campaign?
Yeah, I was either at 114 or 115 uh, yesterday, and I got a couple of more uh, people subscribe yesterday. Actually, uh, uh, I think it was like two yesterday and one sometime like after I went to sleep. So I appreciate everyone who's been stopping by. Yeah, Cassis bellies are the most annoying part. The good thing about Crusader Kings, though, is um, whatever your Cassis Belli, you can generally um, you win the wars the same way. Uh, unlike EU four, where depending on if you pick the wrong Cassis Belli, you may end up having a much worse war. Like if you pick show superiority uh, versus oh, just capture this one province, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Nath. I appreciate it. I really do, bud. Thank you so much. And again, thank you for that recommendation to that Warhammer channel, because that was really good. And I, I'm going to look forward to watching more of those. I wish I had more time to watch more stuff, but... Uh, yes, that is an option thing of a Bob. That is absolutely something you can do. There's also the um, I think it's the um, the war um, the like the far left uh, te um, tree for uh, war or um, military um, learning that lets you get discounted. Um, you get discounts on Cassis Bell Eyes too. And I think that's for all Cassis Bell Eyes. I could be wrong about that though. I know it definitely gives you a discount on ones that um your um your uh, priest will get you. It's a percentage. I think it's like they change what I think they change what the percentage was. I think it used to be like a like a fifty percent, but I think it's like a thirty percent discount now, which is you know still huge. Like anything that you save is fantastic. I mean, you can uh, you can look at the tech tree without having to you know change what you're studying. So if you don't want to lose your progress, you can just click on it and see. But I'm pretty sure it's it's like a it's a it's like a it's a significant percentage, unless they changed it with the most recent patch, which I don't think they did. Three three fifty piety for a duchy is a really good deal, especially if um, especially if you are a pious character. We cannot lose. 
Oh shit! Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that religion. Oh, yeah, that is right. Oh, yeah, dude, that is that is smart. I forgot that was a thing. Oh yeah, like it's it, it's gone early, yeah. It's like the Irish with um well I guess they keep I forget in the later start dates, but I'm pretty sure Ireland forgets the insular Christianity. Oh shit. That would be cool to see. I do not run or hide. Yeah, the fall of Cadia is a great. It's so like so important to the lore. Okay, it is still insular. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Like I said, I usually start at the early start dates. I just like to take as much time as possible. A lot of people like... And this is especially true for Crusader Kings 3 because like... Oh really? That's, call, that, that's awesome. I didn't think England would change like that, but I guess that does make sense. Especially if um, they're getting beat up by um, Earth, to ca you know, because all the religions have those zeal factors, and they're more likely to um, to be less stable if uh, if they lose their zeal and stuff. Oh, they went... Oh, wow. Okay. That's very interesting. We should be able... I'd like to get both of these guys defeated, but we'll see if that happens. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll boast Juju. He'll repel this guy in front of Zhao Yun. Then Zhao Yun will repel that guy away. And then Zhao Yun will also repel Zhao Pi to here. And he'll either get fainted and decoyed or just decoyed. Oh yeah, the Saint Ilkenid. <laughs> uh, that's a. I don't know why he decided to do that. He didn't tell me that's what he was planning on doing for that playthrough.
That's a good idea. I'm real. I'm so excited for the Wandering Lords DLC, man. I cannot wait for it to come out. Sounds good, Nath. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yep, you take care of what you take care of your prayers, and we'll see you whenever you come back. I appreciate you coming by. Making decent, steady progress. No major hiccups. At least not yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be good times. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's, I do, like, I'm, I'm really hoping that they're going to use it to eventually, or that system to kind of, like, make you, give you a little bit more options of how you want to play. But we'll see. We'll see. I really wish this is one of those scenarios where your allies would actually do shit, like advance and take places. Yeah, I've never tried any of those East Asian mods. I've heard there's a really good one for, um... It's still in fairly early development, but there's, like, a Sengoku one for, like, the Warring States period Japan. I feel like that would be fun.
Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think you're right. Well, it's one I've 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 thought about checking out. Um, I've been the main total conversion mods I've played have been um, oh, it's the um, the Elder Kings mod, like the Elder Scrolls mod, and then um, uh, what do you call it? The um, uh, Game of Thrones mod too. I've done that one. Of course, that one is still a very early days, and I played the shit out of that mod in um, for Crusader Kings 2. But they're still, uh, obviously, that's still an early development of the CK3 version. There is so much stuff in the Elder Kings mod, it's insane. Of course, I'm a huge fan of the Elder Scrolls lore. I've played Skyrim in so many times, Oblivion so many times, Morrowind so many times. I've even played uh, Daggerfall, like the second one. That was, I mean, for what it is, like, the graphics aren't great, um, but the, um, just the world itself is so cool. 
and that one I think is free on Steam. At least it was at one point. I, I don't know if it currently is free, but... Hell, Marwin's cheap as shit. And that's still got a big modding community. It just keep in mind it is a very old game like it's very old school you you might want to use a guide for it uh. This mother destroying my depot. Yeah, yeah, like it's there's so much like quality of life stuff that you would not that you would see in like a modern game, but um, or the yeah, that's not there that you would see like. Um, and so it makes it harder. And sometimes it's pointlessly hard, but, you know. Still, it's fun. Very fun. Finally getting close to breaking these walls down. Yeah, he's going to decoy. He's going to repel. He's going to shift. No. He's going to... He's going to raid, and then he, yeah, will pell as well. We can't capture Tsaurin, but I do want to take him out. Like, we got to weaken these armies as much as we can. She just had revive ready on Leo Bay, not aid, but doesn't matter. Stratagoy, Stratagories. Ooh, that's the good stuff. Have you learned your lesson yet? So I know Guogia can command an army, and I think he's here. Right? He's here, right? 
Yeah, he's there. Right. He can command. Which is bullshit. Guojia is historically dead. Like, he died of an illness. And if you're Cow Cow, he's definitely dead by this point in the game. But of course, when you're fighting Cow Cow, that's not true at all. Oh, it's a history podcast. Just, um, world history. In, like... Um... Got, um... Just going through, like, the entirety of human history at this point. I'm kind of going in chronological order. Um... I've done a couple of seasons, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, we did, like, human prehistory, and now we've got, um... Yeah, basically did Humans in Africa, Season 1, and then, like, the last episode of Season 1 was Humans, like, leaving Africa. And then, um... Season 2 was kind of, like, what humans are doing around 10,000 BC, and I kind of went into, like, some of the advancements they had made during that period. Um... And after that... Um, uh, which is, I guess, where we are now. Um, I did 8,000, 6,000, and then, well, obviously not all of them, but, yeah, I try to hit the highlights, at least. Um... Anyway, right now we're in season uh, four, and I've kind of been doing, um, just kind of setting the stage for, like, the rise of urbanism and all this other stuff. Or the, you know, the birth of cities. And as soon as the city specials are done, I'm gonna, um, focus on, um, actually going through, like, events chronologically again. We're gonna get back to Africa and go from there. Yes, eventually. Eventually. Of course, that's still a long ways off. I'm only, again, I'm only just now getting to um, the 4000s BC. That's going to be what this, what the end point for this season is. So we'll still have... What, Bronze Age Clap was like 1170 something? So, yeah, we still got, uh, we still got plenty of time. Before we get to that one. It's a very interesting time. It's also a very mysterious time. We lose so much information. That we're only just now, some of it we're just starting to kind of figure out. And some of it, you know, we might never figure out, unfortunately.
Got some, yeah, okay, there it is. Yeah, 2,800 years, give or take. I mean, we're just now really getting the dating system down to, like, where everyone can kind of agree, agree on general events because of, like, the different dates we had for, like, Sumerian crap. I've been looking at the Sumerian Kings list recently for part partly for this episode and um talk about a mess. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I think, you know, if you really sat down and, like, tested yourself against, like, the majority of the population, you'd find that, yeah, you probably actually know a lot more than the average person. Hey, man, don't sell yourself short. That's all I'm saying.
How did that get triggered? I guess because he's... Okay. Whoo! There we go. That's the good stuff. Zhushuo is captured. And Wang Swang. Or Wang Chuang. How did that guy get... It doesn't matter. Oh, um, I just, I just think, like, of stupid shit posts I've seen from other people and just try to change things. <laughs> like, you know, or just, you know, BFFs forever. Like, I just saw, like, a South Park episode where, um, like, an old South Park episode where, like, Kenny and Cartman have, like, their BFF necklaces. <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> And of course, the iron. This is ironic because Chu and Wu were not BFFs forever, <laughs> but in this timeline, they are. We'll see if this works. All right, I think uh, I think this might finish him off. We'll see. Maybe not. Nah. Well, I mean, we'll kill Jia Haldun, which is fine. That's kind of what I wanted to do most.
66,000. Damn. Jahadun's dead. Seven star sword. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, you know what? I've been I've been dumb. I have had some items I've been meaning to give people I forgot last time. Ship would be best for Liu Bei, so we'll give him the histories. Zhuge Liang. Yeah, let's give him the spell book. Guan Yu's keeping Crescent because fucking Menace is awesome and he needs Menace. Uh, we'll give Zhang Fei the Seven Star Sword. Zhang Shu. Let's give him something. Actually, a lot of his, a lot of his stuff is intelligence based. Mm. I don't have anything that's really intelligence based though. So let's give him the leadership since he's the army leader. Give him leadership. Zhang Liao. Yeah, you get the uh, Avenger. Let's go ahead and save before I forget. I was hoping that there wouldn't be an army at that place right there, but I guess uh, I'm going to have to have an extra turn. Sao P, really? I, I just annihilated him down south, like, because he already recovered. I guess you do get more people back in your armies the more territories you have. We're gonna leave Malji there. He's pretty beat up. Uh, he's already formed up his second army to defend. Although they might send it to reinforce Salpi. We'll see. Soon Quan apparently doesn't want any extra land. He's just sitting there contemplating.
actually do repel here. Just in case he can hit both of them. We'll see. Bullshit. I mean, he's super beat up, so it doesn't really matter, but. Well, but we did capture that guy, so. That's something. Witch's Brew. Um, uh, is that a beer? Because that does sound vaguely familiar. Now, if it's a mixed drink or like a little local thing, I'm not sure. I doubt it. And if, that's if I'm thinking something completely wrong, please let me know. Because I am very much interested in trying new things like that. Not a beer. Okay. I'm assuming it's some type of mix, like drink or cocktail or like a like a special type of tea or something like that. Vimto and any orange cordial mixed together. Well, I'm familiar with orange cordials, but what is Vimto? I mean, I like orange, so yeah, orange cordial definitely would be a good base for any kind of thing like that. All right, well, this should be, should be. It's probably just called something different. Look, it's our it's not our fault you hadn't invented it by the time we colonized. Like Like we had what you had when we came over. And if you came up with stuff after that, some of it got here, some of it didn't. Like, come on. <laughs> Vimto. I've never ever seen Vimto before. I, uh, I have not had it, is the answer to that. I can Google it. I can, I can figure out what it is. Let's see. Vimto. Vimto. There might be like an off-brand that I'm more familiar with. Like I might actually know what it is, but I've just never heard it called Vimta. Oh, okay. So it's like a grape soda type deal. Uh, but it's a, um, oh, I see. It's more, it's not necessarily a soda. It's more of a grape. I get it. It is carbonated, but it's not like a true soda. I see. Yeah, Kool-Aid's not carbonated. So, but it, maybe they mean in terms of flavor. I'm assuming that's what they mean.
Alright, we, I don't think we're going to kill any of these three dudes, but we will fuck them up. Throughout the land. Ooh. Leave it to me. Whoo, okay. We did kill one. I'm stunned. Must be all those revives stacking. Yeah, that one's not surprising. I didn't think we'd kill that guy. Oh, ah, well, Google lied to me then. <laughs> Pretty sneaky. He's building a fucking tower right in front of my soldiers. Still, I eliminated two of his officers immediately. This guy's fucked. Yeah, carbonated grape soda is not really, not, excuse me, I did not mean to hit my microphone like that. Carbonated grape soda is not the best thing in the world, honestly, I, I don't, that's why there's not like a really popular version of it here in America, um, at least, you know, to American tastes. Obviously, different places in the world have different types of tastes, but, like, there is no popular uh, grape bit, uh, soda in America. There are grape sodas, but there's none that's, like, super popular. Aside from as a mix, usually. Or a mixer, I should say. Um, whereas you have things like Cherry Coke, and you've got Cherry Pepsi. So, yeah, yeah you, you have... Um,
They used to make a really good grape soda back in the day. Uh, I forget what it was called. It was made by the same people that made the, like... I forget what brand it was. But yeah, uh, they don't make it anymore. Uh, and a lot of the grape sodas now, like, they just... They all kind of taste flat, you know? They're not like... What kind of suck? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you're part of the culture. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just one of those uh, cultural differences, I guess. Like, yeah, we don't we don't have any kind of vimto, unfortunately. Oh shit, that was a big charge. I didn't think infantry could charge like that. I thought it was only cavalry and um, spearmen. Shows what I know. Yeah, that's something you probably have to order like directly or... Um, Or it's like an extreme like specialty source. Because we do have those. We have things like World Market that has like more um, you know, more um, uh, popular in other country type foods. Um, now you have, you know, of course Asian grocery stores or Indian grocery stores and things like that. But um, we don't typically have like British um, type stores. At least not where I live. I'm sure there are them. There are those places, but not where I'm close to. Well, there is a kind of a gourmet, uh, type, uh, foreign, or like European selection in terms of food. I wonder if they have Vimto there. I will have to look, I'll have to check that the next time I'm in. Well, that's the meme, right? But, like, I, I didn't want to say that. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I really haven't had too much in terms of British food. <laughs> Aside from, um... Uh, what do you call those things? Um, the meat pies. I've had those. Uh, there's actually a British pub. The guy that runs it is British uh, in my city. Um, they do, like, really big soccer matches like a lot of soccer fans will go there and he has some like legitimately british items on his uh menu uh and they're okay um i love the uh, they actually have some fried fish that are really good i well, you know like i said i like the fish and chips i like the classic fish and chips those were pretty good
Oh, I don't have bows anymore, duh, idiot. Go here. Uh, we're at three today, Pen Pal. Also, welcome in. Welcome for welcome. Thank you for joining. We are at three. We cannot lose. We must not lose today. But this is actually the last battle for this scenario. At least I think so. So you were just in time. Trump used it. He built this up. <laughs> I think it all depends on the chef and the ingredients used, obviously. Yeah, Pen. Uh, Thing of a Bob is a is a British person. <laughs> this is uh, this is his assertion. I did just say British. Yes, I did. I was hoping you'd notice. <laughs> oh, nice, Pin Pal. Where, uh, what part of South Africa are you from? Are you from, uh, from uh, Pretoria or uh, Johannesburg? Or Johannesburg, however, however it's pronounced there. <laughs> Welcome back, Naif. You're just in time. This is the last fight of this uh, of this scenario. Uh, we just took a couple of the other provinces uh, or the other cities, so we're getting close to uniting um, to completing this this uh, this scenario. Western side, pin pal. Okay.
after we complete this scenario, I, again, I think this is the last one for this for this path. Um, we'll let the credits roll, and I will go and now check Liu Bei's um, tree, his mission tree, to see what path I was on, because it's kind of weird. Because we went a completely radically different route, and then we still ended up almost back on the historical path. Oh, nice. You got Vic 3 uploaded? Hell yeah. I, um, I played Vic 3 a lot when it first came out. I haven't touched it since they put out any of the DLCs. I tried to get the um, the uh, Super America achievement, the one with, like, Get America in 100 States. And I got to about 80, and the game kept crashing. I was like, well, <laughs> that's, uh, that's something to do next time. They really need to fix the combat system. I understand they don't want direct control, but, like, they've got to make adjustments. Um, that depends. Are you looking for, like, a real challenge, or are you just looking to help learn the game? Because you could pick a, you know, a decent-sized country and kind of help, um... Hope you learned the game. I would say pick definitely uh, a country that is um, large to start off with. I think America is actually a really good starting country to play as. Um, you do have to worry about the Civil War, but you can actually prevent that from firing uh, pretty easily. It doesn't take a lot to do. Russia's nice and big. They have a lot of natural resources. You do have to develop them, though. They uh, and they're also behind on tech a lot. Um, so you want you want to uh, increase your research rates, all that kind of stuff. Um, but you, you can be self sufficient. Very easily. You just gotta gotta work at it. And also remember, just because you unlock a new uh, technology or um, resource does not mean you you should immediately develop it because you don't always, there isn't always a demand. Like I accidentally, when I first played, and this was, I was fairly deep into the game, uh, I developed the ability to produce electricity so I just built a ton of electricity fa um, factories and power plants, and I realized, oh wait, nothing in my country uses this, and no one else has electricity yet. I need to make a demand for electricity, <laughs> and it took like it it ruined my economy for like ten years, <laughs> trying to get out of like the uh, the looming debt. <laughs> But I did it, and actually, afterwards, my economy was in pretty good shape after that. <laughs> Kinda, yeah.
Yeah, we had just won a major war. We kicked the, uh, the last of the Europeans out of the Americas. Uh, minus a couple of islands. Um, I couldn't get them in the last war, but most of the mainland U uh, Americas was completely U.S. I was like, let's celebrate by upgrading or building all these brand new technologically advanced electric plants. And I built them, and they were expensive, and no one wanted to buy what they were producing. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That's a thing. I need a demand. All right, this should be it. Maybe, we'll see. No, not even close. Did not do nearly enough damage. Even with this combo, I don't think it's gonna be enough. <laughs> How'd you do? How far did you get? Did you uh, <laughs> did you get every uh, every province? Mm. I remember I played CK1 a little bit. Uh, I got it on sale super cheap, but um, I never really got too into it. Um, and there were a lot of mechanics I don't think they ever explained correctly, like the aggressive expansion impact. Like, it was just, it was weird. Two was such an improvement over one, in my opinion. Of course, I think everyone would agree with that. Just can't believe it. Yeah, uh, Crusader Kings won. Did it. And Sun Quan defeated Cao Cao together. Together. However, the Emperor, weakened by the long years of chaos, was unable to enjoy the peace. He soon became ill and died. By the will of the Emperor, the land was split into two. Sun Quan of Wu was given the east, while the west went to Li Bei of Shu. Today, two sons. Shall swear to live in peace. Our two sons shall bring to the land a brightness never before seen. Thus, the land was divided between <laughs> Sun Quan Skill and Shu. Wu and Shu would exist in harmony and bring about a golden age of prosperity. All right. Let's save it. Oh, 
Oh, nice knife. I hope, uh, hope you have a very pleasant Robin Don. I hope it goes well for you. <laughs> well, that's got to be a nice change of pace. Alright, let's check this out. What did I do? Wait, what? Huh? What? I am not doing that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna reset. Hey, it's just a glitch. That is like I have the ending, but none of the path. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a mind fuck trying to figure out. Uh, please work. Oh my god. What the fuck? You can't see me right now, but I am holding my head in my hands. <sighs> Trying to figure out why. Why? Yeah, you just magically got the ending forehead. Shut up, dude. What, 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 what? I hate this. I hate this. Why is this happening? Okay. Alright, I can still figure out what the path I was on was. <laughs> I can still... Uh, okay. So, we've got... This is the first scenario. This is where you get your choice. And this is where you make your choice. This is the team up with Lubu path. Because this path is the fight Lubu or ignore Lubu. And they both end up the same way here. So, we went here, we went here... This is the one that, wait. Uh, well, that can't be right, can it? Okay, yeah, so this is the next choice. You either ally Lubu or you fight Lubu. I, I fought him, I did this. Wait, no, that can't be right. Oh my god, I have no idea now. I don't know. I can't. <sighs> this is extremely frustrating. Extremely, extremely frustrating. I'm trying to think of a way to fix this. I could try to go back and fight that battle. I don't want to do that. Let me reset everything. <laughs> yeah, hold on one second. Let me, uh, I'm going to put up the starting soon screen real quick, and I'm just going to reload um, the, the emulator. Uh, exit without saving. Fresh boot. We're gonna fresh boot this bad boy up. Let's see what happens. Oh no, 
No, no, no, no, no. All right. Uh, okay, well. All right, I'm going to try and redo that later. I'm going to try that off screen. Instead, what we're going to do, we're just going to go back in time. We're going to reload the first gameplay. We're going to do the whole fight Lubu thing early. Oh, well, I am going to start a new Leo Baby campaign, but uh, it's going to take a bit. And I will have to do that that path uh, to, re to to ally with Lubu again, but I am going to to wait to do that one. Two turns left. I can't get there anyway. All right, let's go ahead and sell, sell, and me phone. All right, we'll appoint me Zhu. Actually, two. You actually get a choice on which path you want to do, uh, or two different outcomes. One is you fight. <laughs> Your ruler finally died. <laughs> well, you know. Hopefully, you can use him to get you, uh, or you could use the opportunity to get a good air. Hopefully. She lived 127 years. Holy shit. Were you, did you like just create her to be like a Giga Chad? Just give her like Hale and Hardy and all that stuff and like. Of course, there was also the, um, the event you could get in CK2 to make your ruler immortal. <laughs> Sounds like you're in very good shape then. Oh, this it. Wow. Holy crap. Well done.
I would be if I would be if I stopped murdering children. <laughs> uh. Oof. All right, let's see, we'll aid. Okay. Let's see how this works. Definitely kill this one guy. Definitely capture him. Gal shouldn't capture. That's a big one. We needed that. We needed that one. But we really, really need Jang Liao. Alright, so that will charge, he'll pierce, he'll revive, he'll aid eventually, and he'll raid. Okay, yeah, that should be plenty. Should be enough to get Zhang Liao killed and captured.
boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Alright, Zhang Liao captured. That's a big one. That's a huge one. Shall pay. After his attack on Lupu, Liu Bei returned his castle in GOP. Meanwhile, a furious Lupu mobilizes his army to launch a counterattack. Judging that he would not be able to defend GOP alone, Liu Bei forms an alliance with Cao Cao to create a united front against Liu Bei's forces. Liu Bei forms an alliance with Cao Cao and has declared war against Liu Bu. Brotherhood. Belt Lubu with him time given. Alright, let's see. Okay. Uh, I am going to rework the army a little. Zhang Liao command. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get um, Xiao Yun recruited. And we'll, of course, keep fighting off Lu Bu. Take this opportunity to capture some more of his uh, officers. This is a much easier scenario than the, well, I kind of played that wrong. That was my bad. If we can, I would like to capture Chin Gong here. He would be a great um, strategist to have early. But honestly, any of Lu Bu's dudes would be good to capture. I was going to say, Lebu's going to keep sending armies at me. There's no reason not to. Like, 
if I can capture one or two guys, it's not a big deal. We'll save that one for now. All right, this should be enough to beat and capture this guy. I think this guy's an officer and not a generic just type unit type guy. Jean's captured. Okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, that's right, I love this cutscene. Alright, we got that one taken care of.
สองบาNo, Lu Bu uh, beat Zhang Fei in a duel. Um, at least that's yeah, what it what it looked like. But um, Lu Bu is he's he's basically the main uh, target of this campaign. Um, I'm probably going to beat him here, but he'll he'll come back in a, another battle. The, I'm fighting Lu Bu in this scenario. He's, he's going to be fun, at least for now. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to, Nath. I mean, it's kind of the... Oh, kind of the point. Although, he might get one of my dudes here. We'll see. He might uh, beat uh, Zheng Liao. We'll... Might have to reform that army. <laughs> Repel, help pursue. All right, we defeated. Uh, defeated. We defeated that army. Uh, we'll fight. Uh, we'll fight them again here in a second. Save again, just in case. Liu Bei gets discovered and is kicked out of Yuan Chao's territory. We don't want that to happen. Also, don't use Blue Dragon. That's what we want, want you to have.
88 waffles? What about 88 waffles? Is that how many you can eat? If so, pretty impressive. Debris pretty cool, can't deny that. When I play um, Dynasty Tactics 2, I plan on doing Lu Boo's, at least one of Lu Boo's campaigns first. You have 88 waffles. Well, more power to you, dude. <laughs> Don't know why you need that many waffles, but glad you got them. I hope that's not too many. I hope you want that many waffles. Seems like an excessive amount of waffles to yours, per, to me truly, but. Unless you're feeding, you know, a bunch of people. Emergency waffles, gotcha. That makes more sense, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did I not get Gung I didn't get Gung Soon Zon, no! I guess Yuan Xiao poached him. Well, that'll happen. Let's reorganize the army again. Got Zhao Yun. That's the important thing. That's the important thing. Uh, we'll give one more turn to heal people up. And, uh, of course, get our spy, Jin Gui. Now, we'll go ahead and name our envoy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can recruit some of these guys pretty easily. We got four turns left. Idiot, you absolute fool. Yeah, no, 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 no. Go here. Chin Gong. You go. 
here. Start recruiting more dudes. Can I form another army too? No, I can't. <laughs> That's right. Ho Chang and Chin Gong, yeah. All right, well, let's see if we can uh, capture the rest of Lu Bu's officers, get them all recruited, and then maybe place a third army in the field? Because that would be great. Even if it's just two people, that would be a pretty big advantage coming up. Oh, that's right. I forgot that. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense.
Chang is captured. Uh, no, uh, Nate, this game is not on Steam. This is a uh, emulator I'm running. It's a PlayStation 2 game. Um, it is only available, as far as I know, it's not on Steam. You'll have to get a, you'll have to emulate it. Just captured. Uh, just missed him. I think if I had had one more tactic in that one, we would have captured Shen Gong. Oh well. We'll get him on the next one. Also, thanks whoever's smashing the heart buttons. I appreciate it. Uh, I mean, you can, you could probably find it easily enough online. Um, just uh, you know, search for the emulator. You you could easily get it. I'm I am running it off the disc, uh, but that's because I have the disc. <laughs> like, it's obviously not something that you can. Uh, necessarily be able to find too easily these days but <laughs> Lou Boo's defeated again yeah, there are a lot of funny names in this game. Or at least, yeah, sound funny to non-Chinese people. Or people who understand Chinese. version of Godzilla is the best one. Um, dong. Um, that's a good question. Um, 
I've seen a good number of the actual, you know, the old Japanese ones. Um, I really like the original Godzilla design. I know it's not, like, the greatest. Um, Godzilla Zero, pretty good design. Um, all things considered. But... Probably the best one... think i really like shin godzilla like he just keeps getting you know more and more mutated and angry he looks super cool i don't necessarily think shin godzilla is the best movie but Like I said, he looks super badass. Like, there's no denying that. Uh, I was hoping to be able to put a little bit more firepower in that army, but it is what it is. Yeah, strong agree. I mean, he just looks... I mean, he looks badass. There's no way around it. Zhao Yun and Liu Bu. Uh, don't charge out in front. I need to get your boy here. I need to capture Chin Gong. Probably never, <laughs> unless I get like a like a really big request for it. Nay, or a thing on Bob. I'm not I'm not about shooters in general. Uh, let, except maybe historical ones, but I have no desire to play Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah, like the first time they had like the, the really weird just blue graphic where it just like powers up a spine. Yeah, that was pretty awesome.
<laughs> Died in the storm. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I think the best way to do this one would be to. I think A Zhang Fei is probably the way to go. Yes, I have seen a horse in real life, Nath, a couple times. They're a lot bigger than you would expect them to be. Um, if you just seen them in pictures or on TV. Beautiful animals, though. Damn it, I screwed up. <sighs> Gonna miss out on Chin Gong. Oh, he would have been great to have. Damn it. Damn, 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 damn. Oh well. Can't do a lot about it now. Horses? It's pretty cool. Decided to stand against Cao Cao. However, Liu Bei's forces crumble before Cao Cao's vast army. During the battle, Liu Bei is separated from his brothers as he escapes to Ji, the land of Yuan Xiao. As Liu Bei retreated from the battle. Guan Yu is surrounded and isolated by South Cao's forces. Guan Yu has been given charge of Liu Bei's family, and thus was a not free to die in battle. He reluctantly agreed to a conditional surrender to Cao Cao. The conditions being, when Liu Bei's whereabouts became known, Guan Yu would be allowed to freely rejoin him. Sometime later, after Guan Yu learned the location of his lord, he thanked Cao Cao and left Xu Chong. After a perilous escape, Guan Yu is reunited with his sworn brother, Zhang Fei. However, unaware of the circumstances, Zhang Fei angrily declares Guan Yu to be a traitor. I have never eaten horse. I don't know if I could eat a horse. How many times do I have to tell you? That is not my army. Shut up, traitor! You are nothing but Cow Cow's left arm. Die, Guan Yu! What's going on? I'll explain later. Come with me now. <laughs> Make way for Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, the brothers of Liu Bei. Let any that wish to die stand in our way. Uh, I think there are parts of France where they still eat horse, like southern France, northern Italy. Um, I'm sure there are other places too. Once again, the two traveled to Ji's border where they were reunited with Liu Bei, who had left Yuan Shao's care. The brothers decide to call upon Liu Biao, a kinsman of Liu Bei's, so they head toward the province of Jing. However, Liu Bei had no way of knowing that soon Jing would also be affected by the ever spreading waves of chaos. Jin Yi has become Liu Bei's capital. Jing in turmoil. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now. This is where you get interesting 
another interesting scenario choice. Um, I don't know. Of course, you only have two turns, so you can't really do a whole lot. Here, let's. No, 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 no. Let's not load. Let's not load. Let's not load. Let's save. Of course, the British do that. <laughs> Again, I think it's only in southern France. I don't think it's everywhere in France that does that. I could be wrong. Could be very wrong. Well, we actually outnumbered them. <laughs> See, he does have pit, so I do need to be careful about that. Well, I mean, 2020, <laughs> I mean, that's not that long ago. I guess it, of course, everyone, at least around here, was probably still mostly under quarantine stuff, so, like, I just had to sit around, essentially. Who do we got here? We got Zhuang. He can be captured. We're going to try to capture Zhuang. Yeah. Life, uh, life has a way of getting harder. <laughs> it's one of those things. And yeah, Guan Yu and Zhuang fight. Your might is renowned throughout. 
about the land. General, it is a great honor to meet you on the battlefield. Well, good for you. Yet, you know my name. And still you wish to fight me? My respect for you, that is personal. On the other hand, my taking your life, that is my duty! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the good old Rochambeau, yep. <laughs> that can certainly happen. Oh shit, I should have linked with Guan Yu, that was dumb. I'm gonna use this opportunity to confuse Yuan, so he won't be able to move next time. Oh, need to add that one. This should capture two guys if everything goes well. I think both of these officer captures are, are capturable. I know Zhuang is.
Might kill CME, we'll see. Or not kill him, but take him out. And. Voila! Dun dun dun. I think this should kill Cow Cow. At least feed his army. Yep, that'll do it. better army. We can't? Oh, that's right. I lost the... Oh, yeah. I lost the progress. Mm. Yeah, we probably have just enough to sustain what we have. Yeah, that sucks.
Sauron and Yon. Oof. And we're still somehow more powerful, or at least more numerous. Okay, well, I am actually, I just got hit. I am getting tired. I need to get up. I need to get out of the house for a little bit. I need to do some stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and call a stream here for today. I think uh, I think three and a half hours is pretty good, and I got of course, I do have to still have to get ready for my podcast, so... Um, thanks everyone for coming out, Thingy Bob, uh, Nick Waif, uh, Robin DePank with the boys doing some GTA 5 or something else, Payday maybe. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys, um, tomorrow. We'll be back. I'll start a, I'm going to be starting a new, uh, EU4 campaign. Um, but yeah, I might come back later and do like a late night stream. We'll see. It'll depend on how long. It takes my podcast to render. It's not going to be anything long. It's just going to be a short one. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you, Bob. Uh, Wet Nafe, uh, Twixle, uh, thank you guys for coming in. And, of course, we've had some lurkers show up. I think Reborn Dead dropped by for a little bit. I really appreciate all you guys. But uh, I will see everyone next time. I'm going to try to get the um, get that uh, history line un, uh, un glitched. I guess. We'll see. Uh, but I appreciate you all. I will see everyone tomorrow night at the latest. 